During this section, we will investigate some of the possibilities and options for scaling the Psycho Experience Manager. As you might have seen from the details of the logical roles, the architecture of Sitecore caters for many business and scaling scenarios, and a specific system can be tailored to fit any requirements fitting the logical feature set of the Sitecore product. Therefore, um, this will in no way be a complete list of all scaling options, but should rather give you an overview of how the platform can set, be set up to suit your specific needs. This overview will deal with the logical roles of the Psycho Experience Manager product. For an overview of the Psycho Experience Commerce, Experience Commerce or Psycho Experience Platform roles, please refer to the other videos in this series. <clears throat> in the most simple setup, for example, when developing for the Psycho Experience Manager or deploying a basic setup for feature evaluation purposes, the entire system can run on a single machine. This involves only two underlying systems, a database engine and a web server, where the database engine will host all databases and the web server will host the entire Psycho application in a single app pool. In this setup, the in-process provider or memory-based provider will be used for session state storage. As for the search engine, the Sitecore Experience Manager product can use Lucene, which runs in process on the web server and therefore does not require any other installations on the server or workstation. Lucene is only supported when there is only a single content delivery and content management role in the setup and is only recommended for evaluation or development environments like the one in this diagram. Lucene is not supported in Microsoft Azure Pass, that is, platform as a service, and therefore is only supported in on-premise or infrastructure as a service setups. Please note that all downloadable on-premise configurations are set to use Solar as the default search engine. Please refer to the documentation on how to change this. For a more production-like scenario, the search indexes can be hosted uh, on a more scalable search engine which can be hosted in a separate process or server. This is a very typical setup for a simple test environment or for a more production-like development environment. In other words, this is all, uh, this, in this setup, all processes, the database engine, the single website application pool, and the search engine can still run on a single developer workstation or server. However, this same setup can run on three separate servers or cloud services one for the databases, one for the website, and one for the search indexes. For on-premise or IaaS, the database engine is SQL Server or Oracle. The web server will be IIS and the search engine is Solar. <clears throat> for an Azure Pass setup, the database engine is Azure SQL. The website runs as an Azure app service and the search engine is Azure Search. The topology described here is called XM Single and is available on dev.sitecore.net as a pre-configured ARM template for Azure Pass. The topology is not downloadable for on-premise deployments, but can easily be configured. Please refer to the documentation for more information on how to do this. <clears throat> for development or on-premise testing, it's possible to scale out the logical application roles across multiple application pools on the same web server. This makes it possible for a developer to host a scaled setup on a local machine for debugging or development purposes, or to set up a simple test environment within limited server resources. In a simple scaled scenario for development or test purposes, it's also possible to run the optional content publishing service as a separate process on the web server. For debugging or development purposes, you can even run content publishing as a console app. Please refer to the publishing service documentation for more information. A more realistic topology sees the two logical core uh, application roles, the content management and the content delivery roles separated across multiple servers or cloud services. 
This topology labeled XM scaled is a set of pre-configured downloads available on dev.sitecore.net. For on-premise or IaaS setups, the topology is configured as a set of web deploy packages or WDPs, along with a configuration file for the Sitecore install framework or SIF. For Azure, the topology is configured as a separate set of WDPs a separate set of WDPs and an Azure Resource Manager template or ARM template, which can be installed using the Azure, the Sacro Azure Toolkit or the standard Microsoft Azure set of tools. This topology and the downloads for it typically forms the basis for your specific production or test environments. In other words, the on-premise SIF configuration or Azure ARM template can be tweaked to your specific requirements and to configure and scale uh, the environments to your needs. The following diagrams are examples of environments scaled to specific needs. In order to be able to serve more simultaneous editors <clears throat> or provide high resilience on system faults on the local facing website, on the public face facing websites, the content delivery roles can be scaled in a load balanced fashion. This assures that the load of incoming traffic is balanced across multiple servers and that one or more servers or services are ready to take over in the case of faults on a single server or service. The number of content delivery roles can be increased to fit any, um, to fit any in traffic um, the, the, the number of content delivery roles can be increased to fit in uh, any need in traffic or load. However, in some cases, it might also be needed to scale the number of search engines or database engines to avoid bottlenecks in other parts of the system. So when using the personalization features of Sitecore and scaling the content delivery roles, it's also important to choose a good scalable session state strategy. One option is to switch to a database provider, for example, SQL Server or SQL Azure, or to, for example, Redis. Even if you're not using the personalization features of the Sitecore Experience Manager, choosing the correct provider can be important as your custom website solution can be using session state. Since capabilities and performance can vary quite significantly, it's highly recommended to study both the Sitecore and Microsoft documentation on the individual session state providers in order to choose the right one for your specific requirements. Note that both the content management and content delivery roles use session state, but different strategies can be applied for the roles. In situations where content management is more business critical, or where there are many simultaneous editors, it's possible to scale out the content management roles across multiple servers or services. It is important to carefully study the documentation before scaling out the content management roles, as there are features which need special configuration in a load balanced content management setup. <clears throat> Sitecore will by default store media such as images or files in the master and web databases. This is the recommended approach as it assures complete compliance with, for example, the publishing and security aspects of Sitecore. In an on-premise setup, Sitecore also supports storing media on the file system or for special business scenarios. However, this poses some challenges in scaled scenarios as special configurations such as replication might be needed. Please study the Sitecore documentation for more information on this. In situation where the reliability and performance of content publishing is extra critical, it's recommended to deploy the optional content publishing service on a separate server or service. This unloads the publishing process from the content management roles and increases the throughput of publishing significantly. To reduce latency for optimal performance, place the content publishing role as close to the master database as possible. Note that multiple content publishing roles can be deployed for reliability or resilience. 
However, because of the publishing system's architecture, multiple content publishing roles will not increase performance um, or throughput additionally. Please refer to the publishing service documentation for more information. The data exchange framework is used to transfer and synchronize data between the Sitecore storage roles and other systems. Dependent on the volume of data, the frequency, data mapping, and transformation, this can be a heavy process. In the default setup, the process runs on a content management server, which can impact the experience for editors and also processes such as content publishing. It is possible to scale out the synchronization process to separate data exchange framework remote clients, which can run on separate servers or cloud services. The scalability of those clients, uh, in other words, whether the clients can be scaled out across many servers, depends largely on the custom synchronization logic running in the job. However, scaling out clients across multiple servers can also cater for greater reliability and resilience to avoid downtime in the synchronization process. Since the master database and master index contains all of the current, former, and future versions of all content in the system, it can potentially contain content which needs to be controlled more tightly. In these security or compliance scenarios, a clear separation between the content management and the content delivery environment is necessary. This means that the master and web databases and indexes can be split across separate servers, which, for example, can be placed in separate network zones, physical location, locations, or even hosted in different hosting environments. Both the content management and content delivery servers needs access to the core database. And because of latency, it's recommended to have a core database in each zone or location. Please check the documentation for how to set this up. Also, please note that in this topology, special considerations need to be made for rebuilding indexes. By default, the content management server is responsible for re-indexing all the indexes, even the web index. And in this scenario, the process needs to be offloaded to a content delivery role. Please refer to the documentation for more information. <clears throat> The Sitecore Experience Manager also supports highly geographical scaled environments. For example, when your Sitecore solution needs to power websites worldwide across multiple continents. For this scenario, it's possible to have separate content delivery environments complete with databases, application roles, and search indexes. One aspect to particularly focus on for this scenario is the databases. The web databases, for example, can be scaled in multiple ways depending on specific requirements. One way is to use publishing targets where the content management publishing service is responsible for publishing content from the master database to multiple web databases worldwide. Another way is to use SQL repl replication across regions and thereby using the built-in database functionality for keeping data synchronized across locations. Please refer to the Sitecore documentation or Sitecore support services for more recommendation which fits your specific need. Be aware that some features of Sitecore might have specific limitations or configurations which is needed. For example, the forms database which is needed across all uh, delivery locations cannot be scaled horizontally and therefore can only exist in a single data center or region. <clears throat> also note that although the content management application role can be scaled horizontally, the master database cannot. It must exist as a single instance in a single data center. Now, since low latency between the master database and content management role is essential for a good ex editor experience, it is recommended to have content, ma have content management server or servers in the same data center as the master database. 